Samurai 8 got axed. I knew this would happen, everyone who dropped it knew it, anyone who kept reading it knew it as well, they just didn't want to admit it. Because they had faith. As long as you have faith, facts don't matter. Just you wait, it needs a few more chapters before it becomes successful and everyone will love it. The haters are not giving it a chance, it's the best thing ever and you're stupid for not liking it. The lifeblood of any ongoing series is the sales, and Samurai 8 was always at the bottom. The fans were buying the manga, but there were only a few thousand of them, while a manga nowadays requires hundreds of thousands in order to be viable. I know I've let you down. The thing is, those few thousand fans were very toxic and didn't want to listen to reason. Many were telling them the truth, that Samurai 8 will get the axe because it's not selling, which is not an assumption, it's a fact. But they didn't want to listen. They kept making up bullshit excuses for why that is impossible to happen and that it will soon be very popular and the haters will be running away in shame. Just have patience and you will see, Samurai 8 will be the new king of shonen anime. Have faith in Kishimoto, he's the creator of Naruto, he will never get the axe. And then he got the axe. Throughout the years, I was also hyping anime that nobody was watching. I remember saying Shinsekai Yori was a great show while it was airing, but nobody was watching it because they were busy dick riding Sword Art Online that was airing at the same time by the same studio. The thing is, I never said I have faith it will become popular in the future and make those who ignored it to run away in shame. I didn't give a shit about it becoming more popular. I never cared about any of my favorites becoming more popular. I like them regardless of how popular they are. I am always promoting them, but I never expect my fondness of them to be validated by surpassing in popularity or sales whatever is trending right now. That's the difference between a good fan and a stupid fanboy. A good fan of a show enjoys it for what it is. A stupid fanboy constantly makes fun of others for not liking it as well and ignores all criticism, which is what the subforum was doing since its inception. Anyone who was telling the truth and wasn't constantly dick riding the show was getting downvoted, his posts were being deleted, and he was eventually banned for telling the truth because he wasn't a believer, he wasn't part of their cult of eternal positivity. Because down to it, that's the only reason subforums exist for for creating echo chambers where the truth doesn't matter. The quality of a show doesn't matter either. People go there to feel nice by essentially living in ignorance and deception. With that said, I understand how sad it will feel for Kishimoto, who considered Samurai 8 to be his dream manga, something he always wanted to make, but had to leave it to the side while making Naruto. And now that he finally got his chance to make it, it wasn't selling, because people don't care about his weird ideas and childish dreams, they want more of what they always like, which is cash grabs of Boruto going back in time and showing the old characters as kids. As a writer, I fully understand how soul-wrenching it is when nobody cares about your dreams. I was writing my book for years, and nobody cares about it. I don't give a shit about its selling, I don't have faith that one day it will be more popular than Twilight. But the mere fact that nobody cares about your creation, not a corporate cash grab that you are making for the sake of money, is extremely devastating for your mental health. So although I am laughing with the fanboys and how delusional they were for not listening to the truth and having faith, I sympathize with Kishimoto having his dream getting crushed like that. I mean, it probably wouldn't if he wasn't such a bad storyteller and his artist didn't draw in such a confusing way, but that aside, as a fellow creator, I feel the pain of a passion project getting ignored. And who knows, maybe Samurai 8 will be replaced by someone else's passion project and long life dream that will give him the chance to prove his talent, his vision, his fuck that Samurai 8 gets replaced by a bleach cash grab. Ah!